Yo, what up, Mercedes folks? Remember I said I was gonna have to change out this filter? Well, I finally got one. So this is the uh, little cold air extension, which lets you breathe in lots of hot air um, until I find a divider. But we've already covered that. This is about this amazing filter that I got off of eBay. said so this one should outlast this one from China because this one in China is made at some place called Wuhan and it's supposed to outlast anything else that comes from China. Probably different factory, different kids making this shit, but uh, for all intents and purposes, it, it kind of looks the same. We got some gold shit on this side where this one's fake chrome. Uh, this filter's more cone-like. This one's elongated, so this one's about an inch longer than this one here. But this one's got a little bit more girth on this one, so pick your poison there. I scored it on eBay. It's only about, uh, I think it's 20 bucks. So the filter material looks nice for a $17 filter. A whole lot better than this one that, remember, I destroyed. So... I get my filters kind of wet, muddy, nasty. I pressure wash the engine bay. So what I got to start doing is remembering that I'm sticking these cheap filters in there. I just got to replace them a little bit more often. So. Uh, are they going to filter with the efficiency and, uh, uh, what am I trying to say here? Are they going to take out all the particulates that like a K&N or a high dollar filter will? No, they're not. They're absolutely not going to do it. But they're going to keep sand out, mud out, and all the things you don't want going through there. I mean, number one thing to try and keep clean is your mass airflow sensor. Um, your engine itself has really got no problem chewing up, eating up a little bit of water, a little bit of sand. It really ain't going to hurt it. <clears throat> but what it's going to do is dirty up that math um, and make your, make your vehicle run like dookie. So let's go and uh, throw this thing in. So there it is, boys and girls. The 3-inch cold air intake for an ML. 430, 320, 500, 55, doesn't matter. It's just some eBay, piece of eBay aluminum piping. Uh, it's three inch, it's got a 45 degree bend on it uh, with a three to four inch adapter uh, to go directly to the MAF and my cool little $20 eBay filter. So, I mean, don't know how many videos you watch, but I'm always saying I gotta come up with that damn design to cut the heat off. I'm coming in here then where's it going to get its air from it is some airflow right there i mean look down and see ground you can see tire which also means you might get some mud in there but whatever that's what filters catch right in there ain't gonna be much air coming in from anywhere else i mean maybe around the headlight or something but it'll probably catch some coming under the hood and hit into here somehow yeah you can see it so right now I'm not too worried. I can suck in a little hot air and go hurt nothing. I said there's really not much more to say on it. It's pretty simple. It's in there. Finally got a new filter. Means I'll be able to keep the uh, the math clean and not go through all this crap again. All right, cool. Thanks for watching. See you later.